friends, let's make some toe caps. I have this old one from th about three years ago. The other toe cap, they, all, they come in pairs, of course, for your skates. The old one had a nice huge hole in it, so I was like, it's the perfect one to take apart um, to make some new ones, just to get the basic shape. Um, also, these fit my skates really well. Um, I got them on Etsy like a million years ago. I have no idea um, the info for the seller, but it's a really basic pattern. So, um, and these are made of faux leather. Um, and so I just unstitched them. You know, they were, they had the toe cap shape basically like that. I won't say. Um, but I unstitched them, took the pattern and I'm going to trace it. I already had started when I was like, why don't I film them? Film this. Maybe somebody would like to learn how to do it themselves. Um, so I just trace the pattern onto some faux leather. Now you don't have to do this two step process, but if you don't have faux leather with the pattern that you want on it, you can just play, place the, the original on some faux leather and then use whatever fabric that you want that does have the design. And typically I would use fabric glue to attach the fabric to the faux leather. I have done this in the past with just using the fabric itself. Um, you know, using the pattern, tracing it onto the fabric that I wanted, but it did not last very long. So me doing that extra step of, you know, getting the fabric that I wanted and putting it, um, using some faux leather to give it some stability, the toe cap lasts much longer. Uh, I'm just running with the theme for, of like a night sky I bought some new luminous wheels that are actually called uh, Night Sky. Um, so I was like, okay, let's let's try and just match up that that theme with some fabric. Um, so I got this from Michaels. It was two bucks. Um, very small patch of fabric, but it's just enough for what I need it for. So it's great. Hundred percent cotton. Just kind of fold it in half trace it one time and then cut it out and see how that works. I was initially gonna put this fabric on there as well, but I think um, since it's so thin, it's it's easy to move around. So I was like, that might not be smart. I don't wanna mess it up, um, especially when I'm working with so little of it. So we're just gonna do that for this. Then we'll f take that pattern, fold it over, fold this over and trace it and cut it out like that. Um, and then we're gonna try and use my new sewing machine to attach the fabric to the to the full leather instead of using fabric glue and also you know sew it together into the correct shape I don't know if, if it'll work but we're gonna try it so that's what that's looking like all traced out make sure you know you leave your hole for your toe stop to go through and also make sure you want to mark where the eyelets are supposed to go um, that's another thing you're gonna need when you start this obviously faux leather if you don't have it if the pattern isn't already on the faux leather your fabric something to trace out scissors and then the eyelet set I already have these I bought them from Michaels it's just these, this metal piece and also like a, a stamper thing and a hammer. I'll show it to you when I get to that stage, but those are basically, oh, needle and thread if you're gonna hand sew it or your sewing machine. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. Your space for your eyelets. Now we're just gonna cut this out. So I got my sewing machine like about a week ago and I have not touched it um I just was so busy like doing a whole bunch of other things that I'm like I just literally unboxed it 
to make sure I had all the proper pieces and whatnot, but I have not been able to test it to see if and how it works. So that's all that stuff. I uh, came with extra pieces. Um, I picked up some thread because I realized it didn't come. It came with needles. Help me out, please. Uh, it came with needles, extra needles, but it didn't come with any thread. Which, I mean, come on, they could have put, gave me a, a spool of black and white thread. So I picked up these. I don't know if this is the right size. Um, obviously, this is just to test. I, this hardly has any fab, any uh, thread on here. Um, I just picked it up from the 99 cent store just to have something to see if I could <laughs> test it. Um, but I don't know if it's the right size. But I'm gonna get grab the directions, see how difficult or easy, hopefully easy it is to thread this baby and then try and work on my, my toe caps. Leave it to me two seconds after turning it the right way. I know that this was a storage container. I pulled it out this way when it should have just been able to slide out that way. Almost breaking it, like, yeah. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna just be a little bit more gentle. Um, I think that's a needle in it right there. I don't know. But, okay, I'm gonna uh, go grab the instructions. Not that I'm, I was able to follow it anyway, but we're gonna pretend. It took me such an embarrassing long time to thread this machine, but I did it and I just did my first ever stitching. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm too hype. Oh my God. I, I thought I did it wrong. Like I swear that I did it wrong, but it came out. Oh my God. Okay, so cut it out. Now I'm gonna attempt to sew this part onto this part. <laughs> Jesus, help. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. Let's just raise the foot, throw that on me. Oh, and my thread is no longer threaded. <laughs> so let's start from the beginning. Take that, put it around that guy. Stitch. 
And then I think I'm gonna just use regular scissors to cut and so I'm bring it all the way up here to save some thread. Okay. That one looks closer to the edge, but like, we're still learning, we're getting there. Okay, so we have some wild ass <laughs> stitches going on. But, look, this one's better. We got closer to the edge. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna attempt to just sew these seams together. Lord, bear me strength. I wish there was a, I wish there was a way to just like press a button and have it go that slow without using my feet. Cause like I said, that feels so unnatural. Let's get this baby back. Um, like I, I don't, this is very ambitious. <laughs> High key. Let's do the let's do the four sides and then we'll come back. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. It looks very heinous underneath here. Just gonna cut away these little strings. Hopefully that doesn't unravel it. <laughs> but here we go. Put it in the right side out, and we have our toe caps. Just gotta put in the eyelets. I'll show that later once I'm done with the other one. Um, if I would have been thinking, I would have left some fabric for some overhangs to just like loop it underneath so we wouldn't have these raw edges. But I'll know for next time. I'll be making a whole bunch more uh, toe caps, so don't worry about that. Along with other stuff, but yeah, the first one. Not too shabby. Like it's literally good, it's made to get messed up. So we're not being too, um, too perfect. We're not worrying about perfection with these. We're just literally glad that it's together. Oh my gosh. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Okay, so the second one came out worse, <laughs> but we're giving ourselves grace because it's literally the first time ever um, and like I said, plenty more stuff to practice. I'm going to do at least two more toe caps, um, in the same kind of fashion with this faux leather and some fabric. So we're going to do, have some more practice time. I didn't get closer to the edge on this one, which I liked. Um, but yeah, I screwed up there. I caught the faux leather together, but I didn't catch the top fabric, so then I had to stitch the top fabric, and yeah. Uh, but it's fine. Like, Litter said, this is for me. It doesn't have to be perfect, and um, we're giving ourselves <laughs> grace. Okay, so we're in the final little section of making this toe cap. We're gonna install the eyelets. My cat is on his way. <sighs> <laughs> Please. Okay, you need your eyelets and the setter kit pen just to mark out 
where they're gonna go. A little like exacto knife for any like small little tool just to make a tiny little puncture and a hammer to use with the with the setter. Um, so I did pre-mark where the hole should be, but of course I put it on the wrong side of the fabric. So now we're just gonna overlay. I'm just gonna overlay this to mark where it is. You don't have to, you can be approximate, but why not? Okay, so I made a tiny little slit right through there. You don't want to make it too big, just big enough. You take your little eyelet, push it through. If it won't go through, just make it, you know, try it. Force it, because <laughs> you don't, again, don't want to make that hole too big, because then it will fall out it through then you take your center the bottom piece facing with this piece up set the um, fabric there with the open side facing down on it making sure it's lined up then you take the longer cylindrical piece of the setter with this part facing down over it like that and then you hammer it down and then it will flatten it out like that one right now it's straight up it's gonna flatten it like that. And there you have it, two toe caps ready to be added to your roller skates. And this is how the setup turned out. So that's the toe caps that I made. I bought some new laces, the Derby Spark and Black. They're a little, they're not as shiny, as sparkly as other ones that I've seen, but you know, I tried. And then the wheels that sparked the whole setup to begin with. My luminous wheels, can you see how gorgeous they are? They're called the night sky and they're so pretty. Um, and then I got a black jam plug to just go with it. I was initially gonna get a star jam plug, but I was just like, okay, it, it, this is fine. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the process. Um, and I can only get better on at it. So this was my first attempt at using my sewing machine to make it. So it's only upward from here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.